God bless each and one of you. Welcome to this video. Um, we're going to talk about God is good. We're going to start it off with a prayer. Amen. Lord Jesus, I present to you everyone who is watching this and everyone who is not watching this. I present to you all their families and friends that are right now either in the hospital or in their houses, Lord Jesus. May we all have an encounter with you, Lord Jesus, and may they find you, Lord Jesus. May they know the love and the goodness of you. Show them your grace and your mercy and show them, Lord Jesus, what you did on that cross. That you died on the cross for all of our sins and three days later rose again. And we know that you're coming back, Lord Jesus. I pray everyone may understand and believe. Amen. God bless each one of you. Welcome. We're going to talk about how God is good. And we're going to start it off with the mercy of God. Um, we all know that Jesus died on the cross. But most of people who know that Jesus died on the cross don't know why he died on the cross. Okay? Jesus died on the cross because he loved us. He laid down his life so that we could find grace and mercy in the sight of God. Grace, the goodness of God. Um, a new day living, you know, living in the grace of God. And every day we should be thankful, thankful for the days that God has given each one of us. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we should also be happy and rejoicing in the Lord our God. Those who are fasting for spiritual growth, those who are going to service and church right now. Um, everyone who's watching this, you're going to receive the blessing of the Lord. All those who are right now sick in their household, everyone who has COVID, God can heal you. And God is going to prepare each and one of us. Amen, brothers and sisters. God is coming back. And he's showing his goodness even in these dark times. In the Old Testament, it shows a lot about God's faithfulness. And he waited for the Israelites, um, for them to come to him. And since they sinned, God had to put justice. We have to remember he's a God of love, but he's also a God of justice. That's what makes him holy. He is holy and his nature is holy. We, Our nature is sin. But when we come to Christ and ask for forgiveness, we are a new person. We are born again, spiritually. We can't be physically born again, but we can be spiritually born again by head to toe. Okay. We're also going to talk about the goodness of God. God always is going to provide for you. God is going to prepare you. And the plans he has for you are going to prosper. And Jeremiah 29 verse 11 talks about how God has plans for you. And they're going to prosper because that's the goodness of our God. God got a plan with each and one of us and for each and one of us. Amen? Okay, so let's jump to the last topic. The last topic is salvation. We, we receive salvation. Look what John 3.16 says. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only and beloved Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Look at the goodness of our God. Amen, brothers and sisters? Okay. When it says, for God so loved the world, it's talking about the mercy of God. And it's also talking about the grace of God. It's talking about the love of God. Whoever believes in him should not perish. Those who believe in Christ are saved. Those who are printed to Christ and they have been washed clean, they are saved. In Revelation 22, verse, says, Blessed are those who wash their robes, those who make themselves purified in the sight of the Lord. The Lord is holy, and he is also right, he is also good. When he made the earth, he said, it is good. Brothers and sisters, everything that God does is good. And, he, and he's also a creator. He's going to restore and make things new. Believe in the Lord God that he's going to make something new. For you, for me, for your family members, for the congregations right now, for everyone. Believe in, in God because good things are coming your way. No matter how many bad things are happening right now, it's for the glory of God. You're growing in Christ when bad things happen. You're learning to overcome problems, obstacles, so that when a, a greater problem comes, you already know to take the hand of God, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things with Christ who strengthens me because of the strength of God that he gives us. It's how we overcome darkness, how we overcome our problems, how we overcome our tribulations. 
this COVID-19 right now that's going around the world. The water's getting contaminated. Um, the food shortage is already happening. Watch this video because the guy gave me a dream about a food shortage and how God wants us to start growing plants in our backyard. I don't know if you can see, but we're already starting to grow ours. And God said no matter how big or how small it is, God is going to use it. Okay, brothers and sisters, so before I end this video, I just want to let each and one of you know that God loves each and one of you, Now he's preparing each and one of us, okay? God is good, and he is forever good, amen? Okay, before I end this, I just want to say, remember that the God is good, and bad things are happening all around the world right now, but we all know that we can overcome obstacles with the hand of God. And just remember, God is good. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.